I mean, we'll do the footer thing first here. I've pulled up an old copy of your site. So let's go to the site styles and primary. Um, oh, wait a minute. Maybe that's the wrong year. Hold on a second here. Yeah, I had your previous site open there. Okay, now I've got a, a copy anyways. Okay, site styles, uh, primary and minimized. And let's go look at the footer section in both pages. In both pages. So we'll just quickly scroll down, find the footer. See the background right here? Um, you see where it says um, repeat? I'm just going to pull that up in a page here and make sure I'm... Okay, it's this one right here. Yes, so inspect element of firebug. Footer background, yes, okay, I am. I want you to see this on line uh, 81 of your primary and your minimized. Right here, or 85 on your minimized. See where it says no repeat? Uh, change that to uh, repeat X. Repeat X for both, okay, on both pages. Okay, that's that bit there. Now, your copyright information at the bottom of your page, you're absolutely right. And I'm going to see if I can pull up Pav and get a copy of your site here for a second here. If I can type, I will definitely get it. Okay, because I know what's going on here. This one here is, let's go view source, do control A, copy, uh, create a blank page, paste it in. Let me just see before I save this page. Uh, where that script is coming in from. It is coming in from the copyright. Okay, and what's happening here, this part here should be in your copyright library page. Okay, and I'm not sure what we have going on here. Let's go take a look at your copyright and see if I actually have anything in there for you. Right, because it may be something simple like you just need to upload the page. There it is there, website security. Shield lock. Okay, so yeah, it's correct in your copyright page. Somehow it got mucked up in your in your home page or your index page. Okay, so what you need to do is this in your uh, site. Go to your site, site settings. Okay, maintain site. See that? Maintain the site using hidden meta files. Uncheck it. Click OK and click Yes. And then Yes again. What it's going to do is it's going to um, basically remove... I don't want to save that. Um, okay, just let it go through its thing. And what it's doing is it's it's removing basically its link to the library files. And then we're going to go back and we're going to go back into site settings and we're going to check the box and click OK and Yes. And it's going to re-establish the connection because by looking at your video and looking at the bottom of your page, you have an old you have old information from your library file there. Okay. Now what we're going to do here is open up your index.htm page, I guess that's the one you're, you're going with, scroll on down, uh, website security, that's the site lock right there, okay, but I'll show you, I'll tell you why it's not showing up, All right, so you know, and you can change this yourself if you want to, but, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, um, when we are using something like a, see this right here, that's a slash slash, and that's the source, okay for your image and it's pulling up from whatever but until you you actually have to put an https colon in there or an http colon if you're running from a non-secured server okay now we can save and update and then you should actually be able to see the image okay let me just try that out again see if that does the trick there it is see the site secure there it is right there now Locally, that will never work. If you have a, just a slash slash, so you see the source and it just goes slash slash shield, and that is because that's universal. It will work on an HTTP or an HTTPS server. And the reason we never use those ourselves <coughs> for any of our builds and our templates is because we don't know what if you're going to be on a secure server or not. And certainly if we just went with a slash slash, you'd never see any of your CSS, your font awesome icons, images, anything like that. But uh, when you're running a script like this, that's just something I can share with you so you know. And because we're running site from a sitelock.com and it has an HTTPS up here, it's safe to basically just copy this HTTPS in the colon, pop it down there in front of that there, and then away you go. And then it'll show up. Save, update your site, and Bob's your uncle, then republish.